Meanwhile, the Senate President, Senator Pavio, has pleaded with the organized labor and other Nigerians to show more understanding and give the Tinubu-led administration more time to fix Nigeria. Apapio made the appeal during a meeting with the leadership of the Senate and the organized labor at the National Assembly Complex in Abuja on Tuesday. The Senate President, while commending the labor leaders for their resilience, disclosed that President Tinubu inherited a country with a lot of challenges, noting that the current challenges remain a pointer to the fact that Nigeria is going through transformation. Pleading with you to bear with this administration that is less than two months old, to work together to put Nigeria on a path of progress. Subsidy, if we had left it, subsidy was killing Nigeria. Subsidy was capable of killing Nigeria. Subsidy will eventually have killed Nigeria. You have decided to allow Nigeria to breathe, that subsidy should go. We concur with your decision, that Nigerians must breathe. So I thank you so much for coming. The 70 billion was, uh, yeah, marked for you've seen the structures going on and everything. And then every four or eight years, whenever the furniture in offices of senators and members of the House of Representatives, you know, come to what they call, I don't know what they call in a financial terms, is it a, 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 a zero? No, is it the, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm a, Amortize. When it comes to zero value, they normally they normally bought those things, and when they bought them, they try to replace them. So this time, when this 10th Senate came, and the 10th National Assembly, they had nothing to work with, computers, nothing, even vehicles, nothing. You can't do oversight function with Kekena Pep. So that money is not meant for senators, but you can see the mischief of Nigerians and what the social media can do. They turn things around to make it look as if the 70 billion was palliative for uh, senators and House of Rep members. For me, I don't believe in running government on pages of newspapers. Earlier in their separate remarks, the President of Nigeria Labour Congress, Joe Ajero, and his counterpart in the Trade Union Congress, Festus of Sifo, had accused the federal government of not being sincere with the labor, noting that government on two occasions increased the pump price of petrol while negotiation was ongoing. People are suffering in the country. It's like PMS is at the center of economic activities in the country. And any time it is touched, every other aspect is affected. It has never been touched like this before. The first and the second punch, without anything on ground. We have followed a trend of increase in PMS from 1970 to date. In most instances, it's better we provide something on ground to prepare the minds of the people before going into it. But let me say that the labor movement unlike before, didn't go into the issue of reduce one naira or reduce two naira. We felt we should think outside the box. Because from 1970 to date, when they increase it, level protests, goes on strike, they reduce the price, probably with 50 naira or 100 naira. But this time around, we felt we cannot continue that way. We have to think outside the box. That was what necessitated coming up with alternatives and we resolve since we're already working on the CNG option since 2020. Distinguished senator and distinguished uh, president of the Senate, we know clearly the, the difficulty we have today in Nigeria. Our members are clearly suffering, Nigerians are clearly suffering. Uh, some people trek to work today. I think that uh, just as uh, my colleague said, that before now, the modus operandi of labor has been quite different. Uh, but we said, okay, the government has told us that they are going to create alternatives. 
the government told us that they are going to bring about palliatives. We said, okay, let us listen and let us even watch these palliatives and this alternative. Maybe it could be better. Because the conversation we were having sometime in 2020, we we're talking about CNG, as alluded to. Let us see how this government could fast track these processes. Yes, we understand that today we have challenges on CNG infrastructure because the cities where you could deploy CNG as it stands today is somewhere maybe around uh, some places in Lagos, some places in Port Harcourt. I'm not quite sure any state in the north could support that system today. So we understand that clearly. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.